Okay, so basically we have an HP plotter. It's a T120. And basically when you turn it on, you get this error message. And this basically means it's the board or the uh, firmware, but most likely it's the uh, the board needs to be replaced. Just to give you an idea, this is what it shows right here. It's an HP Design Jet T120. And the best way to do it, obviously you need a hex keys, something like this. And like that long, which is fine. And there are about five screws, to give you some idea, five screws that you need to remove this thing to expose the, the card. And the card what we are replacing, this is how it looks like. So this is it, to give you some idea. It shows the uh, a NIC card as well as the USB. So this is it, I will show it to you after I open it to give you some idea. And that's the rest of the cables. This is the part number, if in case you want to see how it looks. To be done, make sure you unplug it. You just pull it. Now, where are the screws? So let's go with the screws again uh, to count. It would be, the first one's right here. One, two, two. Then you come over here. That's three. Three, and you open this thing for the print head. Four. And lastly, this is like closed. So you pop this one out. And the fifth one is right there. So there are five screws you must to take out. All right. And with this thing, you just wiggle it. And you remove it. And this is the PCB board or main board whatever you want to call it so this is what we need to do so the best thing is what I would do to be on the safe side take a picture to see how everything goes most likely everything goes back a certain way you can't mess up but it's good to take a picture just to be on the safe side all right let's do that so we're gonna need a uh, hex or torx whatever you want to call it this one is a t10 and basically what we need to do is you remove one here one here one here and one here and one here so i removed the others much quicker just to show you much quicker so this is how it's being done okay all right and i'm sorry not this one this one on the bottom right here Okay, this is for another piece if it's needed, but at the moment you could see when you wiggle it, you could be able to tell. And then what I would do is I bring the other card, I plug in each one after I took a picture of this in case I need to know how everything goes back. So I hope that helps you out, guys. Okay. So what I was doing earlier, and what happened is when I took the uh, first main board out like this. I unattach these things and each one by I put it back in the same way and then now it's dangling but what happens in this case this thing that plastic piece this one right here there is two screws in the front you see them one and two they need to be removed or unscrewed in order for you to put it back right here so now I just did that but these things they go usually one way they're not gonna go any uh, like this one goes here this one goes here those two they go right there and obviously I took a picture earlier before and this one is gonna go right here okay so now I'm gonna screw these things back on because I'm holding the camera with one hand let's see if I can do that give me a second guys Okay, hope to, hopefully this one will work. All right, so now I put on the tripod, and now I could explain this. I need to put this in back, which I did. So I need to screw them back in. And what happens is you just push it like that, and you turn the screws. 
Okay. I mean, I've seen some other videos where they don't show you step by step, which I understand it's not that easy to hold the camera or to have someone hold the camera for you. But in my case, I brought the other iPad with me. Okay, let's see if you put this in back here. And I tied up the, the front one and I bring the rest of the other screw that are about one, two, three, four, five. So five, five, five T20 and five T10. The five T10 is the smaller ones for the board. Obviously, see right here. Once it clicks nicely, you need to put one here. So I'm gonna show you, I'll put one back right here. And here we go, let's go. You don't wanna over tie it. I put this one earlier and you can see, see how this is shorter and one is longer. See the shorter one goes right here. Okay, and with your finger and they're clicked and this one goes right here. Make sure they click. I mean, don't force it. All right. Same thing here. And here, just make sure when you loosen them by mistake, just making sure. Yep. Okay. Now here there are two of them. One shorter, one longer. Same thing here. This one here. This one. And there's one in the back is a little shorter and this one on top now the rest of these things it's really simple i left the state back on so this one goes right here and it's nice if you have a flashlight if in case you want to see it just make sure you line up and once it lines up just push it and once and this one i'm gonna put right here remember i took pictures to help me out just in case I need to go back and see where these cables go back and here. And sometimes you mark it, if you wanna know, this one goes right here and this one clicks right here. Okay, hope that guys helps you out. I know most of you are in the field just like myself. And uh, that's how it is. Now don't forget, let me bring the camera. Once again, once I put the card, there's one, two, two, three, three, okay, and right here in the front, you got one here on top and one here. So you do all that and you should be good, okay. So the next thing is before I put everything back on, I'm gonna just turn it on just to make sure. So now I'm gonna put the, the cable back in and watch it, see what happens. Okay. And there's the HP logo. Let's see if that will solve the issue. And if it does, that would be the main PC board and that would be it. So let's just wait so far. Okay, I hear the printer. Okay, that's a good sign. See how it's moving everything? It's telling me to close the cover, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now I'm gonna put everything back on. I did not get the other message again. So it is the main PC board, all right? It's making that noise it means it's doing its thing testing all right I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe I put the effort the time for you guys because I know most of you just like in the field myself 
help in hand would be great. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. We're gonna put the cover back on, obviously. Just nice and easy. That's why usually I do not like to um, put the screws till I test it out, which you saw me earlier, it came on. There are five screws. These are the key, let me see, I'll show you. Right, let's see if this is the correct one or not. Okay, good. So this is the correct one I found, it's showing a T20. So it's a T20 for these. One of you may need something shorter and the rest you need something longer because you may not be able to put these screws back on. So here we go, let's start doing it. One of them goes right there. All it's doing is just holding the color, so it's not, it's not really major to it. What I do, I do not screw them really tight uh, because you want to make sure that they all do good. Okay, let me see if I can move the camera. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so this one goes right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we replaced the card. So we're testing out the printer. Now we should not be able to see uh, the error message. We put everything back after you put all the screws. This one obviously, you click it back and that's it. All right. Okay, that settles it, see? Then put back, put the rest of the screws, and now let's just wait, see? Get a printer. All right. I just want to make sure I don't see that error message, which I shouldn't. Okay. Get a printer for the first time. All right. show you the culprit while we're doing this this is the card I replace all right that's a good sign see I got to the uh, display and this is the the card that I just replaced and as you guys can see there's no other message all right thank you everyone once again don't forget to subscribe comment likes and uh, keep on smiling everyone for there's always a tech there's always another adventure thank you have a good day everyone